With a Bible in her right hand, she takes the help of office and allegiance to serve both the Zambian people and President Hagar in the Hijilema. And as President Hijilema sways in the newly appointed Drug Enforcement Commission Director General, Mary Chirwa, who has in the last few years served at the Financial Intelligence Center, his focus is on the fight against corruption. We must stand together as a nation on this matter. I can assure you, if we relax on the fight against corruption, if we don't support Madam Mary Chirwa here, we are damaging ourselves and the economy will remain down there. No matter how much work we do on the economic investment side, all that will go down the drain on the consumption side. If we do not stand together against corruption, seven years of a leaking bucket, no matter how much water we pour, I used to say it in the opposition, I've now seen it, the bucket will not fill. The water will continue leaking. And we won't support the CDM. We won't support paying retirees, which we have done. First time, 20 years, retirees have not been paid. The president has further aged government agencies and line ministries to support Ms. Chirwa in fighting corruption. Call me more names. I will be relentless. Even if I stand alone, even if you threaten pulling down this government, it's not me you are pulling down. You are pulling down the people of Zambia. Absolute no iota of fear at all. So, Attorney General Justice Ministry support Madam Mary Chirwa, support ACC, support DPP, support those institutions. Don't collude with them. As is the case is clear now, we have to review those contracts. Because Vice President, that domestic debt you hear is six, seven billion dollars almost of domestic debt. A lot of it sits there as penalties from our own money. The head of state also saw in Teaching Service Commission Chairperson Daphne Chimuka and outlined his expectations. You have a major task to do that. This government has pronounced itself very, very clearly what it wants to see in the education sector. So this government has pronounced itself very clear that our children must get the best education. The standards are in a different area. We'll be addressing that some other day. But the environment, learning, teaching environment, a lot of that will weigh on your shoulders and that of your colleagues in the Ministry of Education. And in an interview shortly, Ms. Chirwa and Mrs. Chimuka expressed gratitude to the Head of State on their appointments. We are just going to actualize the song the President has been singing, that for anybody to get a job in this country, we should just look at, one, are they Zambian? Two, are they qualified? Three, are they competent? That is all. The strengthening that the president is doing through appointing the right people to these uh, uh, institutions that fight financial crimes is the first step. So for me as a person, I think it is to take my responsibility uh, seriously and re-strategize around this uh, fight against financial crimes. I think that is the best that I can say. I need to see what is in the institution and what best strategy we can use. President Hijlema has since expressed confidence in the two women's abilities to execute their duty. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace, I gotta go.